Well, what China has done is shown that they can do the same things that NASA and NASA's partners have been doing aboard the International Space Station. What if I told you that China is developing a rocket that can outperform Starship in every aspect? That's right, the Long March 9 will be reusable, powerful and cheap. How cool is that? Well, not so cool if you are a fan of SpaceX and Elon Musk, because China's Long March 9 might just be the strongest contender to Starship's reign in space. But wait a minute, before we get into the video, I have a question for you. Do you think China can keep up with giants like NASA and SpaceX? Okay, okay, China is a giant too. Literally, it's massive. But honestly, what do you think? Share it with me in the comment section. Now, let's get started. First of all, let me give you a little history lesson on Long March 9. This rocket has been in the works since 2016 and was originally designed as a one-time use rocket. You know, like those disposable razors that you throw away after one shave. But then China had a brilliant idea. Why not make the rocket reusable? Like those reusable water bottles that you can refill and reuse. So China changed its plan and decided to make the Long March 9 a two-stage rocket, both of which can be reused. The first stage will come back to Earth using engines and legs, just like Starship. The second stage will use a heat shield and parachutes to return to Earth, similar to NASA's Orion capsule. How original, right? The Long March 9 is about as tall as a football field and as wide as a bus. It has a liftoff thrust of around 6,000 tons and can launch the same amount of stuff to low Earth orbit as Starship. But it can launch slightly less to the Moon, and that's where Starship has an edge. Starship has a higher liftoff thrust than Long March 9, which is around 7,600 tons. That means Starship can launch more stuff to orbit and beyond than the Long March 9 can. But the Long March 9 is cheaper than Starship per kilogram, which is $1,500 versus $2,500. But that's not enough to make it a winner, because Starship can do more than just launch stuff to orbit. It can also land on other planets, refuel in space, and carry more people than Long March 9. So who's the real boss here? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves because China has a plan, a big plan. A plan that involves using this super heavy rocket for some very ambitious missions. So what does China have in mind for this super heavy rocket? Well, China's dreams for its space program may sound like science fiction, but are actually science fact. China has some big plans that include building a lunar base by 2036, sending humans to the moon by 2030, exploring asteroids and Mars, building giant solar power satellites, and eventually creating a space delivery system that covers the whole solar system. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun indeed. And how does China plan to pull off all these feats? Well, Long March 9 is ready for the mission. The Long March 9 rocket is a big deal for China's space plans. It can send large modules, rovers, mining gear and telescopes to the moon. It's even spacious enough for six astronauts. China aims to establish a permanent presence on the moon and tap into its resources. But it doesn't stop at the moon. Mars is also on China's radar. The Long March 9 will have the muscle to send heavier and more complex payloads, possibly including human missions down the line. So yeah, China wants to be a major player in planetary exploration too, and it already has a taste of success with its first interplanetary mission, Tianwen-1, which reached Mars in February 2021 and landed a rover named Zhurong on the Red Planet in May 2021. China has successfully landed its rover on Mars on Saturday, completing a monumental step in China's space program. But China is not satisfied with only exploring Mars. It wants to check out other planets as well. In fact, China has already revealed its plans for two more interplanetary missions in the 2020s. Tianwen-2, which will explore the near-Earth asteroid, 469219 Kamo Oeloa, and the main belt comet 311P Pan-STARRS and Tianwen-3, which will return samples from Mars to Earth. These missions might use the Long March 9 as their rocket and aim to show off China's skills in planetary exploration and landing. Well, they hope so. Oh, and there's more. The Long March 9 is also crucial for China's space-based solar power plan. Imagine giant satellites in space collecting solar energy and beaming it to Earth. It's a step towards cleaner and renewable energy. But wait, China is not done yet. Sorry guys, but don't blame me, blame China. I'm just telling you what they're planning. 
China is thinking big with a space logistics system. This would involve reusable rockets, refueling stations, and space stations working together. The goal? To efficiently utilize the resources of space. So we can say the Long March 9 will be kind of like Uber, space version, of course, except, you know, more expensive and complicated. So as you can see, China has big plans for its super heavy rockets. But when will it be ready? Well, according to China's official timeline, the first launch of the basic model of the Long March 9 is scheduled for 2030, and the first launch of the reusable version is scheduled for 2040. Now you might be thinking that's too far away, Starship will beat them by then. And you might be right. After all, Starship has already made some progress in its development and testing. It has performed several high-altitude flights and landings, although sometimes with the elegance of a flying brick. Starship has also received contracts from NASA and other customers for lunar and interplanetary missions. Starship might be able to launch to orbit as early as this year and send humans to the moon by 2024. Or maybe not. You never know with Elon Musk. He might change his mind and decide to go to Venus instead. Or he might get distracted by his other projects, like Neuralink or The Boring Company. Elon Musk's controversial Neuralink is ready to test its brain chip implant on humans. But don't underestimate China's determination and capabilities. China has a history of setting long-term goals and achieving them with steady and consistent efforts. They've already made history with achievements like launching the first quantum satellite and sending rovers where no rover has roved before, landing the first rover on the far side of the moon. This week, China landed a spacecraft on the far side of the moon and sent back pictures, something no other country has done before. And sending a probe to Mars that carries an orbiter, a lander, and a rover in one mission. China has also invested heavily in its space industry and infrastructure, such as building new launch sites, developing new engines, and upgrading its industrial base. So China is not giving up on its super heavy rockets. It's working hard and fast to make it a reality. And when it does, it will be a serious threat to Starship and SpaceX. It will also shake up the space race and bring balance to the force in space, like Anakin was supposed to do in Star Wars. Oops, sorry guys, I'm in a Star Wars marathon right now. I'm almost done with it, and as you can guess, it's getting harder and harder. Speaking of Star Wars marathon, what if I told you you could fly to Mars in less time than watching all Star Wars movies? Sounds crazy, right? How can this even be possible? But yeah, it's happening. There's a new technology on the rise and it could revolutionize space travel. Actually, we made an awesome video on this and you can click here to watch it. Maybe in the future, you'll watch Star Wars from Mars. Who knows? So what do you think? Will China's Long March 9 be the key to dominate the space race? Or will Starship prevail and keep SpaceX ahead of the game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hey, before you go, I've got something to share with you that'll make you chuckle. Are you ready? Here it goes. If you loved this video, please hit that like button like a boss. Share it with your mates and join our space colony by subscribing and ringing the bell. Yeah, I know it sounds like the same old blah, 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 but trust me, it's like sending us to Mars. Thanks for sticking around. See you soon for more amazing space videos.